Yo, 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 my Tesla fans. Uh, it is another beautiful day. The sun's out. I'm loving it. Uh, maybe you can see the uh, view from this uh, amazing roof. Just awesome. It's day 17, I believe. I get the days wrong. I'm always going to get the days wrong. And I just listened to a podcast of Elon Musk talking about uh, Tesla and the uh, uh, hell that they're going through in manufacturing uh, the three. Uh, but <laughs> he keeps saying he's learning a lot. So um, what's interesting about um, what he said was that uh, the true technology that he feels Tesla has is not necessarily the cars nor the batteries it's the manufacturing facilities and he said the Ford Model T as an example wasn't that hard of a car to man uh, to uh, create the real um, technology was the Ford uh, Model T factory and so he feels uh, the true technology that an edge that Tesla has is the uh, factory uh, to man the, fa the uh, production facilities for manufacturing cars. And he thinks that, I think what he was implying was that um, they should be able to produce cars faster and at a lower cost than their competitors. He sort of uh, described that the car has got great technology, but the real technology is the manufacturing facility. And he said the fastest manufacturer, a, a, um, a person in a walker could beat the fastest manufacturing line, autom automotive manufacturing line in the country. And um, he feels a line should be going at like a jogger's speed to be uh, uh, high technology. So it was interesting. I uh, said uh, they called him out on the uh, coast to coast drive, uh, uh, self driving uh, before the end of the year, which he made a prediction, I think, last summer. And he said it's about three to six months out still. He said they could have done it already, but it would have only been able to do one path across the country uh, and he wants to wait till it can take any path by itself and get a car across the country. Um, Self-driving is uh, coming along, he said, uh, but um, he's doing it in a more challenging method than uh, Google and the competitors who are all using uh, LiDAR. Uh, he, uh, Tesla is trying to do it with just um, cameras, which is uh, image processing, image recognition. And he said it, uh, the, it's a more challenging uh, problem to solve, but when they solve it, it will pay off in the long run. So, um, I mean, us humans, all we have are eyes, which are cameras, and we can make decisions, uh, sort of three-dimensional decisions, uh, or have a three-dimensional view of the world and make uh, decisions. His goal is, or he thinks regulators, this was interesting, will require self-driving cars to be five times better than humans before they allow them to be used. And so um, that's pretty interesting. He also, uh, I, I didn't understand this before, but LiDAR, which is the more detailed mapping of the surroundings around you, cannot see through uh, bad weather conditions and so image processing and radar um, are 
better technologies, I guess the radar is the key, uh, to be able to go through the wavelength of radar uh, can go through any kind of uh, weather condition, whereas the um, LIDAR cannot. I wasn't aware of that. Chicken down. <laughs> I know. I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not gonna be the one to get a ticket. This thing. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess make a U turn up at this light, maybe. <laughs> hey, that was day 20. We made it 20 days. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see some of my other videos, they're here in the top right. My son's channel, Nerd Writer, on the top left. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye bye.